Hi everyone, it's Rhonda again from A Little Bit French. Today I am able to share with you my happy mail from Angie and I'm so excited. I received the box on I think Thursday or Friday and I was so busy during the weekend I couldn't make the video and I know everyone's been patiently waiting. Um, so I'm real excited today. I got to take things out of the box and I'm just like, ah, anyway. Here we go. Um, I'm going to read a little bit what Angie uh, wrote. She said, a warm hello and big hugs to each of Rhonda's subbies. Thank you from the bottom of my little heart for your sweet, very sweet comments on my crafty friends two happy mail share videos. You all bless me so much. I am very humbled. I have created something for her as a Christmas gift, and with her approval, I thought I would share the instructions in case sweet Rhonda or any of you would like to make one for yourself. It is super easy and a fun little project that I created on a Sunday afternoon, a fabric folder with six pockets that houses four handmade tags, Rolodexes, a tiny little handmade notepad, all for journaling, on nine authentic French ephemera pieces, sari silk and French laces. The back pockets lace trim is slow stitched into the sari strip, which is the top of the large muslin pocket. A petite French holy cards printable kit from Ruby and Pearl XO's Etsy shop in this fabric folder sets a TN insert writing journal. And then it's all tied up with white baker string for a closure. I included five authentic ephemera pieces in the TN insert. Um, I think it's best that I... Um, show you what I received from Angie and then um, as far as the um, descriptions in that I will try to reread them when we get to that point. So this is the first thing I took. I mean can you just I mean it's just amazing. Sometimes there's just not words when someone is this creative. And you open it this way, which I'm hoping you can see. I'm going to turn it. Oh, you do turn it. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, is this gorgeous, Angie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So each page is, is slightly turned a different way, and I love that, and I love this image. This is different. I've not seen anyone do it this way. More tin types. Oh. And then you can see the feathers, or leaves rather, are faded on there. I love that. I absolutely love that. Here, let me clip that back with the little bell. And this paper is amazing. Cute, cute, cute. <clears throat> Another Sampool stamp. <gasps> oh, this is nice. Very nice. Oh, I love these, Angie. These are so beautiful. Little French menus. Oh, I get... Oh, this is gorgeous. I'm going to try that. I, she has... Um, sent me things with the, the dried flowers on there and I never think to do that. It's it's one of those things where you have so many bits and pieces to add to your work and everything's tucked away and if I don't see it, I don't use it. And here is, let's see, maybe it's, it's a different, um, Notre Dame in Lyon. I've been to the Paris Notre Dame. Broke my heart when it was on fire. Um, this is precious. Oh my gosh. Oh, another tin type. Oh my heart. See, and this is so me. This cut. Look at that. Can you see that little flower on there? 
I'm going to look at this like 50 times. I can guarantee you. Oh, those little girls. <laughs> you know, I was a little crabby girl, so I told Angie when she showed me this picture, that is so me. My mom's like, you're so miserable. <laughs> Growing pains. Oops, I turned it too soon. Wonderful places to write. And I love the way she just stapled the pocket on this ledger paper. And here is another cathedral. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that flower is so pretty on this antique paper music sheet and sand pool here. Well, we will be making these, won't we, ladies? We will be making this. We will certainly be making this. Oh. Just gorgeous, Angie. How I let that sit unopened is beyond me, because at Christmas, I can't wait. <laughs> Everyone laughs at me. Isn't that cute? The angels, and you have, you guys have to see this. I love this corrugated box paint shabbily. Oh, I love that look. So, so much. So, so much. Oh, yeah, we'll be making this. Oh, yeah. Another sand pool. And the jingle bells, I mean... Just beautiful, and in my neutral colors. I don't know what that is. Angie, thank you so much. Now, I am uh, going to show you, and then I'll read what she wrote. Because my camera cuts off pretty quickly. This is the next thing that was in the Happy Mail. <laughs> I'm going to cry. This is beautiful. I think these are from Heather's Ruby and Pearl XO shop on Etsy. And this is from Sample Stamp Kit. Oh, this is the little folder. The fabric folder. Okay, so we're getting there. This is beautiful, Angie. Just beautiful. Just a tag. And I love this tag. You open it up. She hinged it. This is the most beautiful blue color. Love that. <laughs> and notice the ring. I forget what they call those. That is so pretty with the music paper. Oh. Oh, here's the petals. Okay, so she said, included in Rhonda's fabric folder are very precious dried white rose petals that I have a sweet story behind. Oh, yeah. I know this story. It made me cry. I encourage you all to stay tuned for my other crafty friend, Heather's, at Ruby and Pearl XO here on YouTube. Christmas Happy Mail Share from Me video that she will be making and reading a letter on camera of how I acquired free fresh roses for her, Rhonda's, and Denise's at Practice Makes Pretty on YouTube Christmas Gifts. I pray that the story Heather reads will inspire you all to take time to smell the roses and to also be kind to everyone. Amen to that. I am honored that I got some of these rose, dried rose petals, Angie. Very love, love, love in this. I get asked a lot where uh, you got that image. Thank you so much. So I'm going to put the roses in front. And I think these go in the larger pocket. Oh, I will treasure this. For, this is a great fabric pouch. I love it. And then she made this little journal. Beautiful. 
inside a tuck and some of my favorite papers that she knows I love. And I, oh, this is a little flip through. I love it. Beautiful linen paper. May Christmas find you happy. It usually does. Another Sam Pool stamp. This rugged torn edge I love. Love this. And another folded document. Love it. Oh, okay. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, I don't know where that image is from. That is gorgeous. Okay, and this is adorable. Just little, um, see, I'm speechless right now. You guys will have to. Forgive me. Okay, another little card from Heather. Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> you know, oh, these are the cards, uh, the index cards. I'm so in love with simple and light colors. And I try to incorporate it in my life. So this is just really touching me. Beautiful. I've got to watch the time. We're good. We're good, ladies. i got to read that letter. Oh, and it's if there wasn't. Everything you dreamed about, Angie sends more. I've got to find my things like this, this little chain. I have tons of them. This is such a clever idea. I love it. Love, love it. And the more bells. There's something in here. Oh, the flowers again. And a little vase or a vial. And then let me take this out. Another folded document. More index cards stamped. Oh, I love these. Beautiful. And of course, we all know Angie can duplicate so well. Another cathedral, St. Michel. This is original. This is beautiful. Angie, be still my heart. Be still my heart. To feel this antique paper is joyful. This is very old. Beautiful French ephemera. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Absolutely stunning French ephemera that I simply can't get enough of. What a great idea, Angie. And I love the way there's two pockets, small things in the front and then the larger pieces in the back. Now I'm excited, I wanna make one so badly. Just beautiful, Angie, I'm in heaven. So let me read the letter and take um, both pieces out. So we will see. Okay, the basics for the fabric folder, you just need scissors, pencil, fabric tack glue, 
um, or a sewing machine or just slow stitch everything and what I will do is I will retype this and put it in the description for you ladies if that's okay and um, and that way I don't have to read this because my camera shuts off at 20 25 minutes um, so that way you you can oh I don't know if you can cut and paste that hmm Okay, well, we'll try it. That's it. I literally had this totally completed for Rhonda, including gathering and tea staining a few papers in about five hours. It would have been even faster if I would have used fabric tack glue. I hope you have fun creating one for yourself or to give as a Christmas gift. I believe it would be a sweet little prayer journal or a place to keep favorite Bible verses or to house family Christmas photos birthday party photos, vacation memories, or even to fill up with precious photos of your grandbabies. I will be making one for me very similar to Rhonda's and placing original photographs of my late parents from the 1950s, all in black and white, and taken with their brownie camera that uh, they bought in Gatlinburg on their honeymoon in 1955. I will also include favorite Bible verses of mine written on Rolodex cards. If you follow Rhonda on Instagram, I used their camera as a prop in one of my staging photos of Rhonda's fabric folder with the TN insert that she has posted. The printable kits that I used from Ruby and Pearl XO Etsy shop are petite French holy cards on cardstock on on card stack, card stock and on 20 pound paper. Christmas all kits, star shining bright, number 14 printed on children's scribble paper to journal on the back and number 15 for the center of the signature on 20 pound paper. Documents, French neutral shades, um, one, number one printed on card stock. Memoir, number 20 on 20 pound copy paper, then tea stain. Heather creates beautiful digital kits. Yes, she does. The glassine bags that I used to house Rhonda's white rose petals and for the vertical back pocket on her inside cover of the TN insert are from Practice Makes Pretty Etsy Shop. Denise sells so many sweet items for your junk journals. The clear stamps I use throughout are from Sam Pool Designs, dates from the past. I love them. Stay sweet and kind and have a wonderful Christmas. Hugs and blessings galore to each of you. Angie. P.S. If any of you are interested, my other crafty friend Heather at Ruby and Pearl XO on YouTube and my crafty friend Denise at Practice Makes Pretty on YouTube will also be sharing their Christmas gifts from me and they have already received them. And they will also share my staging photos of their gifts on their Instagram accounts the same IG names as their YouTube channels, Angie. Thank you, Angie. And now there's more in here. Let's see what time we are. Okay, we've got time. Um, this is gorgeous. I can't even fit it all in my camera. And it's a Christmas. Oh. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't even. Move this over. <sighs> okay, I gotta relieve the pressure because I, I'm just in awe of this gorgeousness. Hoping I'm getting it all. Oh, this is unbelievable. It is beautiful. While Supper Waits, A Christmas Tale. I will be reading that. Angie, you could have just sent this and I would have been ecstatic. I am not kidding. I'm not. Okay. I think this is it. Oh, how cute. Oh, how cute. Oh my goodness. Gillespie, Illinois. And this is just a blank. I make, these are just blank pages. I make similar little notebooks like this because, first of all, I love the paper. You can get it 
at the dollar store. You can get it on Amazon. And second of all, because it looks vintage to me, and second of all, you can clip things in here. Say, you know, you're, you're scrap, you know, cutting scraps and, and creating. I clip things in there that I don't want to just throw in a box, you know, or a pack. I just, I love this, Angie. Thank you so much. This is so vintage and antique -y and I love it. So there you have it, ladies. And in the description, I will give her instructions. Um, because if, if I read them out loud, you guys would have to keep replaying it to get it all down. And the best thing I can think of, because I don't know if you can copy um, the description of on someone's YouTube, um, and I can also put it on my Instagram, the instructions, but is you can screen print it and then maybe print that as a document, her instructions. Um, if not, I'll come back and, re and read them. Um, but Angie, from the bottom of my heart, you make me so happy I could cry. Thank you. Thank you, sweet friend. You are amazing. All right, goodbye.